guys have a Merry Christmas or just a Happy Holidays. It's great to be back and filming my first ever makeup tutorial. Oh my gosh, this is crazy and so good. So I'm just going to be putting my hair back and getting a headband to get all of my stray hairs and baby hairs out of my face and grabbing this flower headband because so I was like, yeah, I want flowers in my hair today. Then I'm going to be grabbing these face wipes and getting off all of the makeup that I didn't get off the previous night and also taking off my lip gloss. BTW guys, do not wipe your lips after wiping them down with face wipes, does not taste good, learnt that the hard way. And just going to be bringing that down my neck as well so that any bronzer that I didn't wash off the previous night can all come off and I can have a clean, fresh state slate <laughs> to do my makeup on. Today I'm going to be prepping my lips with this EOS lip balm in strawberry. This smells so good and tastes it too. Don't ask me how I know that. Then I'm going to be putting on this Too Faced Shadow Insurance um, eye primer just to make sure that our eyeshadow does not crease throughout the day and stays on for longer and is brighter and just perf like Kurt. <laughs> Then I'm going to be taking this dark brown matte shade from my Forever 21 Wild Child Flower, whatever it's called, palette. And this is going to be the powder that I'm using on my eyebrows today. I didn't see any prominent eyebrow trends in the 90s, so I'm just going to be filling, in, filling them in the way I like to, and you guys should do the same. And now I'm here, I'm just brushing them out and making them the way I like them to look. Then I'm going to be grabbing my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I just got this recently and I love it. And I'm going to be taking the shade Milk Chocolate and applying this to my crease and all over my lid and under my eye and practically just making myself look like a panda. Just doing this very roughly, blending it out. It really doesn't matter because this is just going to be a transition shade. And in the 90s, from what I saw, it wasn't a very clean era, to put it simply. The makeup was very rogue. I don't know. It was just very messy and smoky. And honestly, I'm sucking at explaining this right now. And this is me saying, Am I a panda? Now I'm going to be taking my Tint My Brow Brow Gel from Australis and putting that through my eyebrows to keep those hairs in place. Because you don't want your eyebrows hairs to be, I, I honestly don't know what I'm saying, you don't want your eyebrow hairs to be flying all over the place. By the way guys, I am in the colour Dark Brown, which is the darkest shade I'm pretty sure if you guys are wondering. And I'm going to be going back into that dark brown matte colour and taking just a little bit into my crease for a little bit of definition so that people can be like, oh, hey, yeah, she's got a crease. I don't want anyone, I don't want to be walking around with these brown eyes, so I just want a little bit of definition. And then I'm going to be taking my black pencil eyeliner, eye, no, 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 eyeliner from Forever 21 and roughly, roughly, roughly putting that onto my eyelid. I don't know what it's called, but you guys know what can see where I'm putting it. And I'm going to be taking an eyeshadow brush to blend that out. I would recommend taking a pencil brush, but I don't have that. So I'm just taking and using what I have. As you guys can see, I'm just blending that out pretty roughly. It doesn't really matter. We're going to go back in and redefine it in a moment. Then I'm going to be going into, I'm going to be taking this black sparkly colour from my Forever 21 palette and I'm going to be applying that where I put that black eyeliner just to once again redefine. I really don't know what words to use. I think it's because I'm nervous because I'm feeling like my first voiceover. But you guys can see what I'm doing and now I'm taking that original Too Faced colour which is milk chocolate and applying that back into my crease and under my eyes for a, a little bit more definition and just blending that out. And I'm going back in with that black eyeliner, pencil eyeliner, and I'm going to be once again rubbing and smudging. Honestly, guys, I'm so nervous. That's why I cannot speak. But I'm just going to be smudging that out, as you can see. I made sure to 
made sure, yep, that's totally grammar. I made sure that my under eye shadows was a lot darker than my top eye, just because that is a trend that I saw from her in the 90s. So, yeah. Pose it, Lolita. Work it, girl. Oh my god, I'm so late. I'm going to be taking this what's it called? white chocolate colour from the Too Faced palette and applying that to my brow bone and my inner corner for a little bit of highlight. You guys could also use this on your cheekbones and the tip of your nose and your little thing on your lip that where you highlight. You guys should probably know what I'm talking about. And your chin and your forehead if you guys wanted a little bit of highlight because I did not highlight in this video. Going in with the face white to clean up any fallout and just fix up the edges. Then I'm going to be going in again with a clean blending brush just to make sure that there's no straight lines. Just to kind of, you know, blend it out so there's no really hard lines. That's what I was going for. And then I'm going to be taking a jet black mascara. And I wouldn't recommend the one I used. But just take the darkest mascara you have, and then I'm going to be going in with my concealer, which is two to four shades lighter than I am. I would recommend using a concealer lighter than you are because I'm actually using this concealer to really highlight my face and, you know, show the high points of my face because I wasn't going to be highlighting with this look. I'm taking my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to be blending that out. This is actually a dupe for the blue. This is actually a dupe for the blue. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. This is a dupe for that product that I'm using. And this was only $5, so it was really good. And I could do a review on it if you guys would like me to. And I'm just going to be blending that out. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so awkward. I literally don't know what I'm doing. The reason I'm so awkward is because I'm nervous, guys. It's like my first ever makeup tutorial. Just, you know, give me, cut me some slack. Then I'm going in with my Natio Mineral Foundation. This has a matte finish, so that's why I used it. I would recommend foundation with a matte finish because that is something that I saw prominent in the 90s. Wow, prominent, fancy word, I know. And I'm going to be blending that out again. I'm going in with my Maybelline New York Mineral Powder Foundation. This is in the colour Nude Chair. Weird name, I know. And I'm just going to be applying that to my face. Also because my matte foundation was a little bit light for my skin because it's summer in Australia right now. And I am tan. That sounded like I said I am tan. I'm tan, guys. Tan. And I'm using a Real Techniques foundation brush if you guys are interested. By the way guys, how cute is my choker? It was from Colette and it was $2. So adorable. Then I'm going in with this highlight foundation powder. Highlight foundation powder? Light foundation powder. And I'm using that to highlight my face and set my concealer. I'm going in with my NARS Laguna bronzer. Oh my gosh, this is seriously orgasmic, guys. Ha <laughs> get it? Because the color next to it is called orgasm. Oh my god, I'm not funny. Moving on, I'm going to be bronzing up my face because I'm not applying any br brush. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk, guys. I'm not going to be applying any blush or highlighter for this look, so I'm just going to be bronzing up my face to add a little bit of definition and contour. And seriously, guys, I love this bronzer. I'm looking at it right now, and it is... Perfect. That was it closing if you guys heard a little snap then. And I'm just going to be contouring my face. Next I'm taking my Rimmel London Kate lipstick. This is in the colour Rosetto or 112 or 112. I did a little swatch for you guys. It's like a beautiful, really dark, very mauve colour. Mauve. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. And I'm going to be applying that to the lips. Beautiful colour. And this is pretty much the finished look. If you guys didn't like this colour, another colour that I would recommend is this L'Oreal Paris lipstick in the shade 111 or Permanent Blush. Here's a swatch, it's gorgeous and I love it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hey guys, 
So I really hoped that you guys enjoyed this video and tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to tell me what videos you guys want to see next and any improvements or tips that you guys recommend for these videos that I'm filming right now. I want to know how I can improve, so help me out guys. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video on social medias. I love you guys and have a beautiful day or night. Bye guys. Guys, 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 guys.